Okay, um, I found a video here, a, a good comparison, which will help you. Um, the, on the one on the right, you hit a terrible shot, like striking the ground way behind the ball. Okay, now watch what happens here. Follow it closely. Okay. Now the one on the left, you hit a nice shot. You hit it real solid. Now I want to show you the difference here. This is important, I think, for us to get on to. Once you get hold of this, which you're starting to do much better, you got to get this, this, this head up, too. i, I got to show you what I mean by not keeping your head down on your, buried in your chest that long. Um, but watch. Okay, there's the strike. All right, now I'm going to put a trace on your club. Okay, now I'm going to put a trace on this club. It's pretty obvious what you see, isn't it? Okay. Your swing, when you hit poor shots, comes from what we call too far from the inside, and then it goes outside this way, away from you. When you hit it and keep the club and the arms and the body connected, and you turn to the left, like you're doing here on the, the left picture, that's, that's when you're going to hit your best shots. So here's what I need you to think about. Um, if you're hitting, if those palm trees out there in the middle of the driving range would be twelve o'clock, when your body rotates through the ball, your arms and club would be swinging over here toward ten or eleven o'clock. You would not swing out toward one or two, right? So your 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 bad your bad path kind of goes out this way, and when you rotate properly, your path comes right around through this way. Okay, that's what I mean by turning through and keeping the club connected to you. They're the same. They're, they're, those swings are seconds apart. But because you didn't swing way off to the right, where you see all of your divots, like when you're practicing and you're not hitting well, let's say that these trees are your target, you'll see all your divots in this direction. And what is it from? It's from not turning with your body and keeping the club with you. That's why I want your head to roll with your body and not be kept down this long. So... Uh, that was a good look at two shots, one hit nice and solidly and one hit well behind it because you didn't come through with the body and bring the club with you to the left, which will ensure hitting the ball, not the ground. Okay, um, but you're doing well and we have, that, we have to keep, you know, working on this because it's a little bit of progress each time. Also, um, on that note, you could drop me a mail on this or give me a call. Jim scheduled a lesson. I think Jim might be your father-in-law, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he scheduled a lesson, I believe, Tuesday of this week. And I don't know how that happened because Tuesday is a school day. 
so I couldn't get it in. So I see that you and or Kent put some more lessons in there. Um, you're going to probably be best to get um, Jim with one of you on the lesson as opposed to finding a separate time because if he goes in for another lesson now, it's not going to be, you know, for, for a while. Um, I don't know how the opening was created because I block those off usually well in advance, but sometimes I might have missed. So that's the story there. Okay. So in review then, just keep making sure that you're, you're turning through the ball as you hit it. The club is in an excellent position. It really is. Uh, you just can't stop. You, you have to keep coming with your with your body and thinking this way. Like like the actual arc of the swing would be kind of like that. It would never be a straight line out to the right. And the only way you get that is by turning the hips. And when you get all the way through here. And your your backside is facing the camera like that, then you've carried the club with you. Yeah? Okay. See you soon.